So hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, girl, my name is Lucy. I always say to stay subscribed. We have a good time on this channel. Now, today's thing by the title. Today's video is going to be the long-awaited perfume collection. I've been promising you guys this video for like the entire year and I'm so sorry that I'm just getting to it right now. And let me just say this, this is not all the perfumes I have in my collection. These are just the perfumes that I feel like I haven't talked to you guys about and I think these are pretty much all the perfumes I got this year. I'm going to be talking about these fragrances the way I feel about them. So basically how they serve me and what I smell in them. I'm not going to be getting into the nitty gritty of each perfumes, like, you know, talking about the notes and all that kind of stuff because I really don't know so much about perfumes. I'm a perfume head. I love perfume a lot. I'm addicted to them, but I don't really know so much, right? So I'm just going to talk about what I know about the perfume, how they smell to me, how they wear on me and all that stuff. Without talking too much because we have a lot of bottles to get through, let's just jump right into the video. And when I say we have a lot of bottles you guys this is what i mean <laughs> we have a lot so let's start with my ultimate favorite right now like a perfume that i am in love with i am obsessed with it is my number one like complete oh, you guys oh, this perfume oh. all is going to have is my collection i'm talking about the mason francis cardigan oud satin mood i have the regular one i don't have the extreme version and i feel like this works Perfect for me. I love this so much. My favorite perfume before this was the Terry Mogla um, Oud Majestic, but that's unfortunately discontinued. And I have a little left in my collection, just like this tiny bit. And I'm saving that little bit for dear life because obviously I can't get it anymore. But anyway, this is the perfect blend of rose and oud that I have ever smelled in my life. If you want to step into your boss babe era, get this. If you want all the attention to be on you when you step into a room, get this. If you want a fragrance that will smell on you for days on days on days on days, get this. This is a beast mode fragrance. Get this and you'll thank me later. That's just all I'm gonna tell you. Now let's get into this baby right here. This is Penhaligon's Legacy of Petra. <laughs> oh, this perfume gets me so excited. You guys, let me just spray this first. Mm. No, that's a lot of praise for how much this little thing costs. It's not that little anyway, it's like 75 ml. This smells like apples, like apple pie, basically. It smells creamy, but then also boozy. It's a really boozy fragrance. It reminds me of Killian's Angel Share, which is also here, I'm gonna talk about later. But this reminds me of that. But then this is a nicer blend. Like if you'd ask me to pick between the Killian's Angel Share and this one, I'll definitely pick this. It's cozy, it's warm. It gives me marshmallow by the fireplace, burning wood, apple pie, everything in it. This has vanilla, woody notes, and I think they have a little bit of licorice in here. And you guys, this is beautiful. Tea full. This is definitely a unique fragrance. I feel like it's an undupable fragrance to be honest. Most of the fragrances I'm going to be talking to you that are in my collection screams boss babe and that's how I like to smell. I like to smell unique. I like to smell like I'm independent. I like to smell like I have my shit together. I like to smell nice but still feminine. This lasts 12 plus hours you guys. 12 plus hours. Now this is Sintra by Mimo. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. From the other two fragrances that I've already shown you guys, you know that I have a type of fragrance that I'm drawn to. So a fragrance that has vanilla in it for sure. Fragrance that's like milky and like, you know, sweet, but then woody and spices with marshmallows and like raisins type of fragrance. Oh, I'm bad. <laughs> you better not fall. <laughs> but like, it's that kind of fragrance that I lean towards. And this is exactly that. This is milky. This is sweet. This is vanilla. This is woody as well this has raisins in here as well this smells very unique like the first time i smelled this i definitely wanted it in my collection it is amazing it is cozy as well perfect for the winter season this would be amazing on a date night i can tell you that for sure this is definitely 10 plus hours i got this earlier in the year and it's almost done that's how much i love this now let's move on to one that is an og but definitely a staple in every girl's collection and this is jimmy Choo. Uh, fever you've heard of this you've seen this I'm pretty sure you grew up you know with this fragrance this is an extremely feminine scent and it's giving very much clean girl vibe that's what this gives me 
oh my god it is floral it is spicy it is deep it has that deep darkness to it there's also some fruitiness to this fragrance as well i absolutely love this this is definitely the ultimate i am embracing my femininity type of fragrance if you really want to smell like that girl if you want to smell like you know feminine and cozy and warm and clean and sweet this is the fragrance for you i'll definitely recommend that you add this to your collection listen 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 get this okay get this fragrance now let's move on to one that i know that i'm going to kill this season like the colder seasons like fall winter moving forward i already started killing it anyway this is mongolian intent by berlin I have used the regular one, the regular Mongolian, and I absolutely love that. I think I spoke about that in my previous, oh my god, in my previous perfume collection video. I had to have the intense version because that's how much I loved the regular one. This is fire. This fragrance has citrus notes in it. It has vanilla, it also has white musk, it has rose. This is an amazing fragrance for the winter and fall season. That's the reason why I told you guys I'm going to butcher it this period. I already started. This is one fragrance that's always going to be in my collection. I can tell you that for sure. That's how much I love this. I definitely would give this a 10 out of 10. Would definitely recommend. Now this is Amani My Way. You have heard about this perfume. This perfume, everyone talks about it. Everyone and their mother talks about Amani My Way. So let me just get it out of the way. This is the intense version. I have used a regular one. I still have it. I think I've spoken to you guys about that one. I don't know if it was in my last perfume collection video. I mean, I think it was. But maybe one of the perfume videos I've done in the like this year. But I got the intense version. But I didn't get it in the full bottle because in as much as I love the fragrance, I just didn't think I needed a full bottle. It's also a fruity floral fragrance in my opinion. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is so feminine, by the way just to put it out there it is actually really feminine this is loved by everyone like it's a man eater according to what they say on the internet tiktok especially it's a man eater it lasts so long it is quite on the affordable side and if you want to have the room smelling like a girl just walked in this is the fragrance for you this is a fragrance that i gravitate towards every time i'm going into the office because i don't know it's just giving that vibe it's giving like corporate chick vibe that's what this gives me you already know what this is but i'm gonna say it this is killian's angel share and like i said this is similar to the penhaligon's legacy of petra but i'm gonna tell you now the penhaligon's legacy of petra is way better in my opinion way long lasting smells way better the blend is so good and for that one it has merit it doesn't have cognac but the blend there is just amazing i definitely recommend legacy of petra pepin halligans but then this is killian obviously this is definitely a cognac fragrance a cognac with like apples as well pretty much almost the same as the penhaligans but this i would say it's a little see a tad bit watered down when it comes to the penhaligans uh, legacy of petra this is an amazing boss babe fragrance it is very expensive i'm not going to lie this is 50 ml and i think it costs almost the same amount as the penhaligans this is quite pricey killian is pricey this is my birthday fragrance for this year and i definitely would recommend this is a unique smell it is so warm so cozy it's giving very much tobacco wood and spices apple pie marshmallow a little bit of cream and like some raisins and all that kind of stuff that's what this is given i definitely would rate this a 10 out of 10 i definitely would recommend this is Givenchy Lontedi Rouge we know about the Givenchy Lontedi line everyone talks about it everyone loves it right but i personally i personally prefer the rouge to any other that they have in this line that's just my preference this is basically given you know orange but blood orange not just orange but blood orange sandalwood i think jasmine in here tuberose there's also tuberose in here and honestly tuberose for me it's like this you know sometimes when there's tuberose in a fragrance it's usually a heat or a mist for me there's like a thin line between those and for this one is a nice blend of tuberose jasmine sandalwood a blood orange um in here i think there's also vetiver in here as well this is absolutely cozy 
oh it is warm it is beautiful it is it is definitely a feminine fragrance 100 there's nothing unisex about this fragrance i'm going to tell you that for sure this is giving clean girl vibes as well you will love it so much it is amazing for the colder seasons i'll definitely recommend this fragrance with my eyes closed now this is a teal cabernet oh la la ah oh, this is the ultimate clean girl fragrance listen this smells clean, smells fresh, it's very airy. This is the kind of fragrance you wear on those days that you just want no makeup, makeup kind of look, simple outfits, you're just going out for brunch, or let's say that day that you just feel like you want to be lightweight, you want to feel lightweight, you want to feel the fresh air, you want to go into the nature, that type of thing. This is the kind of fragrance that you spray. It is so beautiful it has tobacco it has hazelnut it has sandalwood i think it also has tonka bean in this as well it is absolutely beautiful the longevity on this is amazing this gives you 10 plus hours despite the fact that it is airy and fresh and clean and smooth this is just a girl that is calm you know it gotta has a calm and cool spirit. That's what this fragrance gives me. I absolutely love it so much. Teo Cabernet, the house of Teo Cabernet. Mm, they make really beautiful fragrances. You should check them out. This is also from the house of Teo Cabernet, and this is Cafe Cabernet. Now, this is the actual fragrance I went into the store to get the day I was going to to try out the Teo Cabernet, you know, line. Oh, this is coffee, like creamy coffee, because I know it has milk in this. It has tonka bean. It has tobacco. I think it has coffee in this. This is beautiful. I don't know if it has saffron as well. Oh no, I think Olala has saffron. This doesn't have saffron. For sure, it doesn't have saffron. But this is very cozy. If you like coffee fragrances, this is the perfect blend for you. I'm not usually the type to like fragrances with coffee or even anything with coffee, but this is an absolutely amazing blend. If you ask me which I'll pick between the uh, Olala and the Cafe Cabernet, actually, I'm gonna pick the Olala because that is pretty much, you know, what I like to feel like or what I like to smell like. Quite frankly, Moses, I want to smell like Olala oh because Cafe Cabernet is definitely for special occasions. It's for like different settings and different vibes, but I absolutely love this fragrance. It is also perfect for the colder seasons. I don't really see this working out during the summertime or when it's like hot, although it can work out. And for me, you know, I don't have seasonal fragrances. I spray anything that I like and whenever I like, but this will be perfect for the colder seasons. It's cozy, it is warm, and it's amazing. This is the Alien Mogla Fusion, and this is a nice blend of, I think Amber is in here, Tuberose is also in here for sure, and I think they also have Orange Blossom? Orange Blossom to be here as well. Now, this is not the kind of fragrance that I'll typically lean towards, like Alien in general, like the Alien Flanka, all of it, the remote, I just don't, except for the one that I initially loved, which is obviously discontinued. But this one, when I smelled it in the store, I was blown away. This is probably the only one that I like in the entire line, the entire range. Fusion is the only one that I like. It lasts so long. It's a very nice blend of tuberos and amber. I absolutely adore this fragrance. Honestly, I got this about like three, four months ago and I'm almost out. Like this is probably just about five, six sprays and it's gone that's how much i love this fragrance and i got it in the 30 ml i should have gotten to a bigger size i think they said it was it's discontinued right now but i'll check but i really love this i definitely recommend this fragrance it lasts so long as well i think it gives about 10 plus hours and this is an all year round fragrance it's not specific to a season i absolutely love this fragrance so so much cool now this this is mac jacob daisy this is a so intense version now, I don't know if I've ever said this on my channel, but I absolutely do not like any fragrance by Marc Jacobs. I just don't. <laughs> I don't like any fragrance of Marc Jacobs, and that's because it's just not been my thing for years, especially Daisy. Oh my God, you have to shoot me in the head <laughs> to use any Daisy fragrance. But I smelled this, and I was blown. I know this is not everyone's cup of tea, and I think I have seen a lot <laughs> of this on TikTok, people saying how they don't like this fragrance, but I absolutely adore this. This is a very nice strawberry fragrance. And that's what blew my mind because strawberry is usually something that I just would not even want to hear that it's in a fragrance. Like normally I'm not a strawberry person. Like I would 
I would eat, you know, strawberry dipped in chocolate or something, but I'm just not a strawberry person. Like to spray strawberry on my skin or my body, ah, no, 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 no. But this actually is beautiful. I think this has vanilla, strawberry, and I think they also have a little bit of musk in here. I absolutely adore this. This is beautiful. This is definitely an everyday type of scent. This is a scent that is perfect for work. It's giving clean girl vibes as well. I love this so, so, so much. This is a fragrance that if you have on your skin, would be so sexy for someone to smell you know this is a, so pretty it is so girly as well obviously the bottle is beautiful it's a fruity floral fragrance definitely worth having in your collection i can't even believe i'm saying this because this is my decops but i absolutely love this this is my baby one thing i'm going to say is blind by a smaller size or buy a tester before you you invest in a bigger bottle okay because like i said it's not everyone's cup of tea strawberry is pretty much like an odd note to have in a fragrance i'm not even going to lie but i absolutely love this like you guys see what's left of it and i just i got this the same day i got the uh, fusion <laughs> i use it a lot now this is christian dior Gris Dior, right <sighs> this is a fragrance that uh, is so talked about so raved about but i'm going to be honest with you and let you know that for me it's not all that i love this fragrance but i don't love it as much as people say i should love it because oh my god it smells so good this is a patchouli fragrance i think it has a little bit of rose in here as well and i think amber and all that kind of stuff but for me i smell powder okay i like the perfume this is the reason why there's a huge dent in it i have used it a lot but it is not it's not it's not the way they're saying it i've had this fragrance since november of last year or december of last year and yes i've put like a huge dent in it but i don't even know how <laughs> i actually don't know and maybe because i'm a heavy sprayer you get but i'm not i do not hate the fragrance but i just do not love it it does last a long time i think it is about 10 plus hours so it's long lasting but it's not my favorite type of patchouli scent like patchouli is also that note that you really need to do well like if you're using it in a fragrance or anything it has to be blended well and this is blended well but i just feel like it just doesn't go well with my nose i think there's also said in this as well in this fragrance it doesn't really go well with my nose and this is givenchy irresistible and this is the older perfume because i know they have the older toilet and i think they have the older something that looks exactly the same i don't even know why they did this because it's quite confusing when you want to buy this you can mythically buy the older toilet or the other ones if you're not careful but this is an amazing blend of rose like this is a rose fragrance this smells so good it's one of my favorite rose fragrances and i've already spoken to you guys about this fragrance i think in one of my videos it's the perfect date night fragrance this smells so girly but then also has that edge and like you know darkness that i really love it gives me that double edge that i want it gives me that sweet feminine side and also that you know independent boss babe side like this fragrance gives me that and it's also inexpensive i've put quite a dent in this fragrance as well because it is so alluring this is a fragrance that you know will get that man sniffing you all day or night you know this is that fragrance it is amazing it's a perfect rose fragrance i always encourage you girls to have rose fragrance in your collection this is a really good one that is inexpensive that you could have in your collection get this and thank me later i always will have fragrances from the house of montal in my collection i don't care i think i have about seven of them but today i'm going to be showing you two because i think i've already shown you guys the other other ones before this is montel dark vanilla and this is pretty much vanilla it's a vanilla fragrance and it's amazing i don't know if i've spoken to you guys about this fragrance i think i have in one of my old vlogs when i first got the fragrance the first time i smelled this fragrance i was like i couldn't smell anything like i, I literally couldn't smell anything then i think i smelled it on a friend of mine and oh it blew my mind i had to go back and i got a big bottle it is so beautiful i think it's a blend of vanilla and oud and it is amazing it is spicy it is warm i think it has a little bit of tobacco in here the longevity on this is amazing and especially for the price the price oh you can't go wrong one thing i'm going to tell you about that vanilla is 
it is a very good perfume to mix with any perfume like you mix this with anything sweet anything floral anything fruity this will give it an edge and that's the reason why i will always have it in my collection i just want that oomph to any fragrance i always just slap on dark vanilla and it gives me what i'm looking for now also in the house of montal i have wood on fire and you already know when i say wood on fire you already know what to expect this is a smoky fragrance really really smoky like i want to spray it on me right now oh jesus this is a really smoky fragrance it has tobacco you have wood and spices this is definitely not for the week wood on fire is not for the week and honestly it's not every girl's cup of tea this is leans more you know to the masculine side i'm not going to lie but knowing me and knowing that i love you know that balance i definitely will have something like this in my collection so this is beautiful like i said it has tobacco woody spicy that's what it let me see the actual notes actually so that you know how you know woody this fragrance is oh my god it has smoke <laughs> now smoke wood sandalwood vanilla amber but honestly you smell the smoke it gives me tobacco vibes as well but it's very very rusty this is a very rusty fragrance so if this is not your cup of tea yeah you should stay away from it and also it's a great mixer for any fragrance as well if you want to add that oomph to any fragrance you could also use this one that's why i have both of them in my collection i never spray this alone because it'll just be too much and overbearing i always mix this with something a lot more subtle like you know the armani my way or the fever now these two together fire i think it's because of the rose in the irresistible me oh my god it just gives everything everything just locks everything in when you have both of them together i have these fragrances from the house of rasael wood and i think i've spoken about this fragrance in one of my vlogs i have hanin i have dangerous feelings i have number seven and i also have dangerous intentions and i have i am but let me quickly run over these fragrances because they're not really that popular so you might not find them right now i am is pretty much similar to perfume zumali delina exclusive now if you ask me which one i'll prefer i definitely prefer i am to delina exclusive the bigger bottle of i am is pretty much the same price as delina exclusive so that's the reason why i don't want to say it's a dupe because it's not a dupe it's just similar okay but this is better in my opinion and lasts a lot longer this is my favorite rose perfume at the moment obviously i love the Givenchy irresistible but this is gold okay this is a 20 out of 10 this is a 20 out of 10 this is so beautiful dangerous intentions is also the same it's a burst of rose but i think the difference is one has cashmere and the other one has lychee right that's the only difference but they smell similar but i'll pick the high am okay by the way rasael oud is a middle eastern fragrance so you already know that longevity on these beast mood when i say beast mood i say while well, talking 15 hours right this thing is not going to leave your body you literally have to scrub it i know hanin which is pretty much similar to um macy magella jazz club i will never buy the Mason, the jazz club from Mason magella right because this is that but on steroids this is tobacco coffee vanilla this is amazing this is a great fragrance this is this is a beast like you have to scrub this out of your skin i think i spoke about this the day the first day that i used it on instagram if you're not following me on instagram follow me so i talked about this on instagram and i was just like this is amazing like you have to scrub it off you and it's not going anywhere this is a 20 out of 10 for me number seven and this is a rose amber fragrance as well it is so soft this is one of my favorite clean girl fragrance in my collection as well this is so pretty this is amazing it is clean it is soft it is sweet i love this so much and then danger of feelings dangerous feelings is that girl this is basically musk and wood and it is beautiful it's amazing like i said the longevity on these things 15 plus hours they're not leaving your skin it's pretty much just oils that's what this fragrance is and they are affordable i definitely recommend the brand if you can find it i'm going to you know leave the names in the description box so you guys could you know do your research depending on the location that you're in oh my god you guys i have one more this is the hala romaine genoa noir i actually forgot this completely i just looked over to see and i saw that i missed this out this is said to be a dupe for dama bianca by Zhezhov, and i feel like this is a great dupe 
it's a great dupe and i think it's a much more potent dupe for dama bianca because i've tried dama bianca before i wasn't gonna get it but i was like okay you know what i'm gonna get this instead because dama bianca i felt like it was just not giving me what i wanted for the price because expensive but this is giving me what i want and it's also really cheap so i got this instead and it lasts so long this is pretty much a green type of fragrance this has vanilla it has lime it has violet and it has lily of the valley i think in here so it's pretty much green and then floral this is so long lasting as well it smells amazing it just smells like a girl a clean soft girl i definitely recommend this that's pretty much all the perfumes in my collection for this year i'm going to leave all the names of these fragrances in the description box below subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed follow me on instagram if you're not Follow me and I'll definitely see you in my next one. Bye.